All right, so now we are at the point where we've agreed to work with one another. Now we need a little bit of help from you. We need a lot of help from you actually in finding out what are all those tasks that you'd like a virtual professional to do for you. And of those tasks, they kind of fall into one of three categories. It's, hey, we need the VP to jump in and start doing it almost immediately. And then there's gonna be some of the tasks that we want them to do, but it's gonna take them a little bit of time to get up to speed. Let's have them do later. And then there's gonna be sort of pie in the sky. Hey, someday maybe we can have the VP do that. So sooner, later, and then pie in the sky. Really, it's just, it's the first two that we wanna concentrate on today. So the team has created this incredible interactive Google Sheet, which is really great. For me, it looks, it's pretty overwhelming. Don't worry about that. Personally, I like to print stuff off so that I can highlight it and then I scan it and send it back to the team. If you have to do that, I'll show you how to do it, but it's much easier to actually use the Google Sheet. So if you do want to print it off as a Google Sheet, you just highlight the first five columns, you hit the print icon, you go over to the drop down menu here and click selected cells and see how that just tightened everything up and now you can actually read it but we don't want to do that. What we do want you to do is just go through and on every one of these tasks, you don't have to mark sooner or later, but on the things that are a sooner or later, go ahead and just highlight. So schedule appointments, that's actually going to be a later thing because I want the VP to know me. I want him to know our business and our ideal client avatar, but I do want him to do the to-do list. I do want him to prioritize my deadlines and help with my inbox. And then there may be a couple of things we don't want them to do right now or their later things. Go ahead, just leave that. And then literally that's it. All we need right now are just these first two columns highlighted. What's really slick about this document is if you do it in Google Sheets, the team gets access to it. We're able to share it with the VP when they come on board. And then this document becomes the backbone for you actually to build your systems library. So later, as you're going through and highlighting, you know, how often do these tasks get done and how many hours are you spending? It's going to help you determine which of the standard operating procedures you actually want to build first. And so then when the VP is done with building those SOPs, they're going to highlight there. And then as your team grows and you onboard more people, whether it's a domestic team member or another virtual team member, maybe your VP is leveling up. You can go ahead and actually just show where one of the new team members has been cross-trained in these different standard operating procedures. So that's it, super easy. 200 and something tasks that a VP could do for you. What are those tasks that you think that you're gonna want the VP to do? And then there's blank section at the bottom of the Google Sheet to go ahead and give us more things that are more specific to your industry that we may not have thought about. Thanks so much for your help in this. We look forward to finding you the right VP.